So hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we are going to solve this amazing complex question, right? What is the question? X plus 1 divided by X equal to 2Y, right? So we have to find the value of X. How I will find the value of X? This is very amazing question, right? So pay attention throughout the video. Now, here I have X and here I have 1 by X means it's reverse, right? And equal to 2Y. This is a complex part. No, this is not the whole complex number, but this is an imaginary number, right? In form of A plus BI, this is the form of complex number, but here I have only BI, not real part, right? So, X plus 1 divided by X equal to 2Y. Now, how do we solve this question, right? What is the step that we will take, right? So, in this video, I will give you two methods by which we can solve this amazing question. So, if I talk about first method, right suppose if x is greater than 0 greater than 0 which means the value of x plus 1 by x will be greater than or equal to 2 because if you put x equal to 1 here 1 plus 1 by 1 which is equal to 2 so x plus 1 by x will be greater than or equal to 2 right this is just a condition now here i have x plus 1 by x equal to 2y so if i multiply both the side by x it will become x square plus 1 equal to 2yx, right? So, now if I bring 2yx left hand side, then what will happen? x square minus 2yx plus 1 equal to 0, right? Now, this is a second order quadratic equation, right? This is a simple second order quadratic equation. So, how do we solve this equation by formula of minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2y? What is the b in this question? b is minus 2y, right? Coefficient of x, so it will become 2y. Plus or minus b square, it means 4i square minus 4 divided by 2, right? So it will become 2y plus or minus, this will become minus 1, right? So my minus 4 minus 4 will become minus 8 divided by 2. So I can write it as x equal to iota right because 2 by 2 will get cancelled out plus or minus root 2 iota i can also write this term as 1 minus plus root 2 into iota right this is, uh, now we want to find out whether this is a correct answer or not so what we will do for this question we will check how here i have x plus 1 by x suppose if i take x equal to 1 plus root 2 I write just for checking only 1 plus root 2. Now see, this will be a very amazing concept to solve. How, how to find out the value of x plus 1 by x. So if x value of x is 1 plus root 2 iota, then what will be the value of 1 by x, right? Because we want to find 1 by x, then we, we can find x plus 1 by x very easily. So 1 by it will become 1 plus root 2 iota, right? Now, whenever we take conjugate, we will multiply by here 1 minus root 2 or 1 minus root 2, but in this case, we have iota also, right? So, we don't, we will not multiply iota and iota both numerator and denominator. Why? Because that is not the conjugate of iota. Then what is the conjugate of iota? Minus iota, right? This is the conjugate of iota. So, if I multiply by minus iota, first of all, both numerator and denominator, then what will happen? Here, it will become minus iota. Here, 1 plus root 2 and here iota into iota will become minus 1, iota square, iota square value of minus 1 and this minus, so it will become plus 1, so right, only we are left 1 plus root 2. Now, I can easily take conjugate, I can easily solve this question for the right, how? Here 1 minus root 2 and the denominator also 1 minus root 2. So, what is the answer of 1 by x? 1 minus root 2 into iota. Now, I want to find out the value of x plus 1 by x, which is 1 plus root 2 iota, and value of 1 minus x is 1 minus root 2 into iota. So, iota plus root 2 iota plus iota minus root 2 iota. So, this will get cancelled out. So, value will be 2 i, right, which is our given in the question. So, our answer is correct 1 plus or minus root 2. This is the first method. Now, if I talk about second method, which is comparatively very easy and very short method compared to this, what is the second method? 
shift. First of all, if I write, rewrite this term equation x square plus 1 if it is equal to 2 iota x. Right? Now, if I bring 2 iota x left hand side and plus 1 right hand side, it will become x square minus 2 iota x equal to minus 1. Now, for making the perfect second order equation, I will subtract minus 1 from both the side, right? So, x square minus 2 iota x, I will subtract minus 1 from here and from here also. So, it will become x square minus 2 iota x minus 1 equal to minus 2, right? So, I can write x square minus 2 iota x minus 1 as x square minus 2 iota x plus iota square, right? Because value of iota square will be minus 1. So, I can write minus 1 as iota square, which is equal to minus 2. Now, I can write this whole second order equation as x minus iota whole square, which is equal to root 2 iota square. Why root 2 iota square? Because if I square root 2 iota, it will become root 2 square 2 and iota square minus 1. So, I will get minus 2. Right? That's why I have written root 2 iota square, right? So, what will the value of x minus iota? Plus or minus root 2 iota. Now, if I want to find out the value of x, it will become iota plus or minus root 2 iota, which is equal to x equal to 1 plus or minus root 2 into iota, right? So, same value we will get from this method also and you can check like this from this method also, right? So, you, so you can apply whichever method you like. I think this is comparative very easy and this is also easy, right? Both are same. You can apply whichever method you like, right? So, this is the two method to which we can solve this question and if you have any third method, then you can comment me in the comment box and let me know, right? So, I hope you got it and if you still have any query, any doubt, then you can comment me in the comment box. And thank you so much for watching this video.